What's going on guys, Names here bringing you guys a brand new Q&A. What better way to start the week than to do a Q&A? Now, if I didn't answer your question, it's probably because I answered it before previously in another Q&A, so if you click the link that I'm pointing at right here on the screen, it'll take you right to the last Q&A where I probably answer your question. So I got a lot of weird questions this week. What? Saki Ned asked me, would you rather never have sex again or 3,000 Ugandan children die? Well, I'm not gonna let 3,000 people die, so I will go ahead and say I'll never have sex again so these 3,000 people can stay alive. I don't know where you got that question, bro, but that's like the weirdest question I've had all day. I don't even know why I answered that. You actually just kind of ruined my vibe, but yeah, no, I'm gonna let those 3,000 people stay alive, dude. It comes from Quincy. He said, what is your biggest fear? Um. I honestly have no idea. I'd have to go into deep thought to like think of my biggest fear. Um, why do you want to know what my biggest fear is? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Probably either something really like ending up not happy when I'm older or like, I don't know, just not achieving my dream or something like that. Some cliche answer like that. That's probably my biggest fear. The next question comes from Lone Wanderers and she asked me, what are those? These. Funny thing about these shoes that I'm wearing, normally I wouldn't be wearing shoes while I'm making a video, but um, these are actually like stolen. At, last summer at the apartment I was staying at, I had these shoes outside in front of the door because it was raining and I left them out front and I didn't want like to bring obviously wet shoes inside on the carpet. So I left them out front of the door thinking, oh, nobody's gonna take these. And they're, they're not even that nice of shoes. These are my gym shoes. These are what I wear when I go to the gym or like when I, like I'm doing something active outside. Like these are what I wear. They're not even nice, they're dirty and somebody stole them. And like a couple, like a month later, uh, somebody who stayed at the apartment went back to like get something right before the lease ended and these shoes were sitting out there. So this guy grew a guilty conscience and brought these shoes back. Like how big of a scumbag can you be to like steal something and then like, I don't know, I just, if you steal, you might as well just keep it at that point. Like you can't return them, but I'm wearing them. <laughs> Sadly enough, I'm wearing them right now. Next question comes from It's Convicted, and he asked me, do you prefer PS4 or Xbox One? Um, I prefer the PlayStation 4 just for the simple fact that I like the controller better, and also a couple other little things, like I like the way the, the interface is in there better than Xbox One, I like the party system, a lot of stuff on the PlayStation 4 I just like better, and it's a smaller system, so it takes up less desk, desk space, and I really like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and say PS4. The next question comes from Sin Slaves, and he says, what do you plan on doing after competitive Call of Duty? Hashtag ask Ant. Um, I plan on working somewhere in the eSport industry. Um, I know a lot of people, and I really um, you know, like this realm of the world. I like the eSports realm, I like uh, professional gaming, I like gaming, and I like a lot of the companies that have come into this thing. So um, if there's any way I can influence people and help them in a positive way, I'm gonna do it. And if the opportunity you know, presents itself after I finish playing competitively, I will definitely seize that right away. This question comes from I Deranged and he asked, hashtag asking, based on the previous placings, what are your thoughts on the current team and do you think it will last? Um, we haven't been placing very well lately and that's not typically, you know, this game hasn't been that good um, for this year for me at least, but um, I think that with our new practice and our, our new like regime, we're going to be doing a lot better. Um, we've been playing a lot, so we've been playing tournaments, we've been scrimming, and I've been streaming more than I've streamed this entire year lately and I think uh, it's going to help us. I think we're all trying to get better individually, but uh, who knows, um, if things don't turn around, things might change come Worlds, but we'll see. Um, I just focused on DC right now, which is this weekend, so I'm, if all I can ask for this tournament is that we perform better than the last few, and I think we definitely can. There's only room for improvement, so we'll see what happens there. Thanks for the question. Next question comes from Pro Purdy, and he has all-time favorite song, hashtag ask Ann. Uh, that's actually a hard question too. Whenever you ask me to like narrow it down to one thing, like a biggest fear or like a favorite song, it, it gets hard because I would have to think about it for a while. But I would guess like, I would say right now, it's like probably a Joey Badass song like Paper Trails or something. Um, that's not my all time favorite though. That's such a difficult question. Um, right now I'm gonna say Paper Trails by Joey Badass, but my mood and my, the way, the song, the music, the type of music that I listen to changes all the time. It just depends on my mood and how I'm feeling at that time. It changes throughout the seasons, like it just changes. I listen to EDM sometimes, sometimes I listen to like alternative, sometimes I listen to hip hop, 
sometimes I listen to old school hip hop, like it just changes. So you, right now you caught me where I'm in the hip hop phase, so I'm gonna go ahead and say Paper Trails. The next question comes from Warplane. He said, ask Ant, when did you start to play COD? Um, I started to play COD probably in like 2005. Yeah, the end of 2005 I started to play Call of Duty. Um, that was when I started to play Call of Duty 2. So I've been playing COD for like 10 years. Um, I started playing competitively in like 07, so. 06. 06 was just for fun, but 07 was like competitively where I played against other people for money and stuff. So I've been playing for like 10, 11 years almost. Next question comes from Vortex Gaming and he said, if you could remaster any COD for next gen, what would it be and why? All right, I'm gonna give you guys the obvious answer, Black Ops 2. Now that was my favorite game ever. I really, really like that game. I think it was one of the best games to ever come out in terms of any game, not just Call of Duty, and it was so fun, and I loved it, and I could play that for endless hours, so definitely Black Ops 2. This comes from Inferno, and he said, what is your favorite FPS weapon of all time? Favorite weapon is definitely the MSMC. I just like the way it handled, the way it felt, and it was my favorite gun. I used it religiously, and that is definitely my favorite weapon across all Call of Duties. Next question comes from Nick Flix and Chill. <laughs> and he said, what was your best tournament experience you've ever had? Probably winning Gfinity, no, 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 no. The best experience, like a pinpoint in experience. All right, when I, after I 3v1 clutch at COD Champs, when I walked off the stage and everybody, like all the pros and all the people were just like standing up clapping and like all the pros were walking up to me, like giving me like, like dapping it up, like saying, good job, man, you're a beast. Like, I've never had a better feeling than that, like that was one of the best feelings ever. I think there was like 300,000 viewers or 400,000 viewers at that time. So my Twitter was exploding and like everybody was just supporting me at that time and that experience was like the greatest thing I've, I felt so good at that time. PSF Busta asked, he said, what is the best tasting G Fuel in your opinion? Now I drink blue ice or um, green apple, those are my two flavors, those are the two flavors I drink every day. So I'm going to go ahead and say one of those, you're just going to have to pick which one you like better. The next question comes from I'm Hoax, and he said, at which point did COD start becoming stale? Um, every year around like the, after the summer. Every year after the summer, I mean, you start really disliking the game, um, with the exception of Ghost. That was the only game I like liked it more after the summer, but other than that, that was probably because I was winning, but other than that, um, after the summer, the game becomes stale. Next question comes from Brian Tate, and he said, would you rather have LeBron or Maven's hairline? All right, dude, that is a horrible question. I don't want either of their hairline, but if I had to choose, I'm gonna go ahead and say Maven because he's handsome. Next question comes from Matt Mr. X, and he says, why am I your favorite caster of all time? Um, probably because you have experience and you know the game, so I appreciate you. You're loyal, you're smart, and I appreciate, no, I'm just kidding. But I do appreciate that, and I, I do like your casting. Next question comes from Bergster underscore TK, and she asked me, how did you discover competitive COD? Um, I was kind of here when it started. I was playing Call of Duty 2 um, in GB, Game Battles, as you guys know. It was called SOCOM Battles previously. Um, I got in, I got asked to join a team, and I joined that ladder team, and I started playing. And, you know, te as time went on, more people started to play, more tournament tournaments started to come out, because there weren't always tournaments. There was just GB matches, like a scrim. Like, you go play a pickup game of basketball with your friends. That's what it was like. And, um... Tournaments started to happen, and it was I was here when tournaments began. I started playing those, and then it just you know built upon there. So my start off is a little different than other pros, but that's how I discovered it. Next question comes from Twizzler, and he said, "What would you prefer to win, champs, X Games, or Worlds?" Um, see, that's such a hard question. Uh, champs, obviously, I would like to win just because it's the World Championship. It's in the beginning of the game. It's the most hyped up event, the most watched event. And there's the most money on the line, so it's gonna help me pursue my career better. Obviously, having more money is gonna allow me to do more things. Um, but if I were to rank them in one to three, it would go Champs, Worlds, then X Games. Um, worlds, I was gonna say Worlds for one, but um, Worlds at the end of the game. And like I said, the game becomes stale after the summer, so uh, I don't know. I would say Champs, definitely Champs. Next question comes from MLG Render. How many events have you won? Okay, so official majors that I won have been five, but I won a lot of smaller events like um, I-46, uh, I won, you know, TIPGC, UGC. I've won a lot of smaller events that have been have good that have had good prize pools, but I've won officially five majors. So um, I'm on the upper scale in terms of how many wins uh, in pros, but I've been playing for a long time, so having five wins is I, I should have five wins. So 
Next question comes from Sue Swift. He said, who wins in a fight, Karma or Killa? Well, Karma's become a tired old dad, so I'm gonna go ahead and say Killa. Ben or Preds, the hardest player to play against, play style slash skill. Um, hmm, hardest player to play against. That's a tough one too. Um, in AW, at least, the hardest player to play against has been probably Formal. I would say Formal's been the hardest player to play against. Him or, yeah, no, no, probably him or Skump. Yeah, the, one of those two have been the hardest player to play against. I can't tell because they've been on the same damn team the whole time, but one of them, they've been hard to play against. Next question comes from Raphael Reflex, and he said, Cupcakes or muffins? You serious, man? Cupcakes or muffins? How can you choose a cupcake over a muffin? Like, this is not even a question. Blueberry muffins all day. All right, and the rest of these questions are really weird, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. It's getting pretty long, like a 13 minute video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna try to do Q and A's every Monday if I get enough good questions. Um, like I said, the questions are starting to get weird, so I didn't want to answer the rest of them, but I thought I answered at least, you know, most of the questions, because some of you guys had some repeats, so I didn't want to, you know, go ahead and repeat myself. But um, like I said, if you guys want to check out my other Q and A's. Bang in the screen below, there should be an annotation, unless I got lazy and forgot to put it there. No, it should be there, so go ahead and click it. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I'm out guys, please. You love it and appreciate it.